always check your tire pressure before you leave and at any stops you make. Do not exceed the pressure indicated on the tire sidewall. The tires on your trailer should always have the same pressure. A spare tire is a must for any trip. Trailer tires are not usually available at gas stations. And never mix tire types because it could lead to difficulty in towing. To keep your connectors free of dirt and corrosion, try contact spray. Always check to make sure the ground wire is secure to the tow vehicle and trailer. Failure to do so could result in blinking lights or lights that don't work at all. Another good check to make would be to inspect your rollers to make sure they're working properly. A falling roller can seriously damage your boat and a roller that falls off can punch a hole in the hull of your boat. So replace any parts that are subject to failure. Always make sure that the rollers are properly positioned on the hull. If the rollers flip while underway, they can cause severe hull damage. Installing guides on both sides of your trailer could be one of the wisest investments you make. These guides can assist greatly in centering your boat on your trailer. If you use centering guides, then the next logical action to take would be to use them to mount your tail lights. This makes them more noticeable to the drivers around you. Another important safety measure would be to back up your winch with a chain. Sometimes cables break and without a chain backup, you may make an unscheduled launch. If you observe a rattle coming from the trailer hitch, you may have a loose coupler. Find the adjusting nut on the inside of the hitch and tighten it by quarter turn increments. Be careful not to make the connection too tight. Always check for excessive heat on your tires and wheel bearing caps at all stops. A hot wheel can mean low tire pressure, while a hot cap can indicate faulty wheel bearings. A good safety check to perform after launch would be to check your trailer springs. These are very easy to inspect and it only takes a few minutes. If you happen to break a spring, secure it and slowly proceed to the nearest service facility. Before towing your boat, check to see that everything on board the boat is secured. Loose boat cushions will most likely blow out. Unlatched doors slam back and forth and Unsecured anchors bounce around. Things like life jackets will soon go airborne if not stored. And if you have an outboard engine or engines, then they should be locked in the upright position by the brackets that support them. Make absolutely certain that all antennas, such as your VHF radio and Loran C antennas, are lowered. They could get into low-hanging tree limbs or even electrical lines if left in the upright position. The transom tie-down should be secured in place to prevent the boat's transom from shifting or bouncing if you hit a hole in the road or have to suddenly avoid an accident by running off the pavement's edge. Again, make certain the trailer hitch is properly secured to the ball and locked in place. It's sometimes difficult to tell if everything is in the proper position. Lock or tie down the safety chairs in the event the hitch should come off the ball. If your trailer has a safety chain or a line that engages the brakes in the event it comes off the hitch, make certain that it's attached to the vehicle's hitch or bumper. Before departing, even during daylight hours, check to make sure that all the trailer lights are working properly. Turn signal, brake lights, and the trailer's normal lights should all be in the proper working order. If you're alone, Place a weight or other object on the vehicle's brake pedal to engage the brakes to see that the brake lights work. Walk around the trailer and make a final check of everything. And again, be sure to inspect the tires for proper air pressure. Remember, trailer tires carry a big load and any incorrect tire pressure could lead to serious problems. Safely towing your boat on the highway requires a lot of good judgment, prudence, and confidence.